I put it together. I kind of just put a little bit down there. So I kind of turn it over. And use, just make sure that uh, it's all lubricated on the outer edge. Same thing with this stem. Hmm. Usually this doesn't ride on the edges anyways, mm. but I usually lubricate it anyways. Mm. And so I'm not scared about, like right. Yeah, I don't worry about how much lubricant I use. Okay. I just put it in there because at some point it's going to all come out anyways. Okay. So don't worry about it. Okay. And then I know it's going to be hard to see it, but rotate it around a little bit. Right now I'm just seeing how much crud's in there because I pulled some out. Okay. All right, let's do it for real now. Okay. okay, so I throw some down there because there's the bearing down, the bearing surfaces in there. Mm -hmm. The hole that's in there, mm -hmm. right in the middle. Yeah, so do that a little here, get it all over the rotor. So now put it in there. Rotate it a little bit, make sure I spread it out a little, spread it out all nice and even. All right, I'll put it back down. Then we get the plate back on, we line it up. Here's the other part that you have to do. Gotta smack it in. Old drumstick will work. Okay. Come back here. Uh, probably. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes don't, things don't work your way. So okay. Do it again. That's all kinds of interesting. Sometimes they don't fit these things right and you have to kind of... Ideally, when I smack it all the way down, mm. it should have seated and been perfect. Mm. Now we're gonna... you kinda just gotta tap it in. All right, so this moves freely now. So we're all good. Okay. Okay. There we go. Put that on. And then we go and get the screw over here. There's two different size screws, by the way. So that one, okay. uh, no, this one I think is the middle one. Okay. I think that goes here. Pretty sure it goes there. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's this one. Uh, okay. It's the smaller one that goes in the middle. Nothing new. I'll, I can move around here. Let's make sure. Okay, we got to just get in there. Okay, and it doesn't need to be, you don't have to crank on it. You just kind of snug it up. Because if you crank on it, these screws are usually nickel, and mm. it won't take that much torque. It'll actually snap. Mm. And then, so what I also do is on these linkages, I just kind of put a little bit of grease or a little bit of oil, mm. and then tighten it up. I worry about wiping the grease up after. Is 